Welcome to our presentation of Exploring Machine Learning Algorithms for Malware Detection. We are Javier Rosado Sepúlveda, Kenneth Cruz Cruz, and Alberto Cruz Salomon. First of all, we want to thank MIT Lincoln Laboratory and IAP for our sponsorship. Today, we're going to talk about the background and motivation of this project, the description and its goals, our methodology, the expected outcomes, the impact, the deliverables, and our present accomplishments. Malware detection is the process of scanning the computer system to detect malicious unwanted software. Frequently, malware avoids detection by constantly changing the program's appearance while keeping its functionality the same. This malicious behavior is achieved by manipulating the code and using obfuscation techniques such as inserting junk code and reordering instructions. Lately, many authors of malware detection systems have attempted to address this problem by using different detection approaches, such as signature-based and behavioral-based. Signature-based methods are those approaches that establish a unique identifier to a known malware example so that it can be identified in the future, while behavioral-based methods detect malware based on other characteristics such as API calls, memory dumps, and system logs. Project Description The objectives of this project is to use machine learning techniques to perform malware detection for effective malware detection. Malware is developed by cyber criminals to disrupt damage or gain unauthorized access to the computer system. To protect the cyberspace from the ever-increasing threats malware poses, it is imperative to develop more efficient and robust malware detection systems. To tackle this problem, EIP students will develop a machine learning deep learning algorithm for malware detection. On this project, EIP students will, develop, will begin by assessing the state of the art to learn basic cybersecurity concepts related to malware detection, as well as familiarize themselves with current detection methods that use machine learning. To support their work on the project, AP members will have access to several malware datasets that are publicly available, and through interactions with researchers at MIT Lincoln Laboratories, the AP students will learn about technical challenges and gain valuable experience with cybersecurity programming and data analysis using machine learning and deep learning. This project has three main objectives. The first objective is provide team members exposure to the cybersecurity field by assessing the state of the art for malware detection. The second objective is go through the experience of researching and understanding which features were already extracted by others on the given data set. And the third is use supervised machine learning algorithms for malware detection targeting Android and Windows operating systems. Datasets. The first dataset we're going to use is Malware Analysis Datasets, API Call Sequences, and it consists of 42,797 malware and 1,079 Benin API Call Sequences. Um, the information of uh, those call sequences are extracted using Cuckoo Sandbox, and the dataset targets Windows Operating System. The Android Malware Dataset, Second Mall, 2017. This dataset has been obtained from researchers of the University of New Brunswick who are developing benchmarks for the generation of malware datasets. In this attempt, they store around 10,854 samples, from which 6,500 were of benign nature, harmless to the end user and the environment, and the remaining 5,354 samples were malware infested. The characteristics of each sample were first recovered from using a custom network traffic flow generator analyzer called SQLflow Meter. And which they develop, and then they use to obtain PCAP files or packets. This dataset was obtained and observed during three fundamental states: during the installation of the application, 15 minutes before restarting the environment, and 15 minutes after restarting the environment in which they were running. It contains four types of malware: adware, ransomware, scareware, and SMS malware. And this dataset is targeted to Android OS. For our machine learning pipeline. We're going to use Python for our model implementation. Then we're going to evaluate it to a baseline that we're going to create composed of common machine learning algorithms either used in the industry or in previous papers or projects. This results will help us do some parameter tuning so we can enhance our algorithm's performance and then reevaluate it to our previous results and that baseline that we have. For our performance evaluation, we have some key metrics such as recall or false positive rate so we can see how our algorithm performs. Some algorithms from machine learning that we are considering are unsupervised learning such as clustering or the deep learning like the neural network. By the end of this rotation, we want to build a report 
describing the different machine learning algorithms and their results. Have an enhanced skill set in areas like cybersecurity, machine learning, deep learning, and data analysis. For our deliverables, we have the assessment of state of the art, the understanding of extracted features found in our datasets, the implementation of malware detection algorithm, all leading to that final report that we just described. As of now, we have accomplished our literature review for malware detection and selected our datasets. Currently, we're working to understand the extracted features and how the datasets was selected. Then, we want to do an implementation of malware detection algorithms, run machine learning experiments, and then write that report with all the findings we get. Last but not least, we want to thank you humbly for your interest and your attention for our presentation. If you have any questions or doubts, feel free to do so in our booth here in the event. Have a great day.